Hey everyone, Recovered YouTuber here, Hobocast. And a while back, I made a video testing out different mics for streaming and showing how much noise they picked up from the room. And I uploaded that video. I was super happy with the edit. And then I came to the crippling realization that I made a huge oversight because I did not test the microphones when using the two biggest noisemakers in streaming. So since that video, the amazing RTX voice by NVIDIA has been released, and this is basically their background noise removal software. You've already seen the viral videos probably of someone having a vacuum next to their microphone. So I thought it'd be cool to test it with all the different microphones that I have here. So we have like a shotgun microphone, a hypercardioid microphone, a lavalier microphone, a dynamic microphone, a gaming headset microphone. And we're gonna use it with a 2080 Ti. And we're gonna be recording with 160 audio bit rate. This is pretty much standard audio bit rate when you're recording stuff. And for the noisemakers, we're gonna use a Corsair K70 mechanical keyboard. I think it's cherry red switches. And then we're also gonna use a Razer Fight Stick, test it with that. I'm gonna run through a couple phrases with the RTX voice off and with it on so you can hear the difference. I'll put all the raw files to make sure that I didn't manipulate anything or change anything put it in the description, but let's get to testing. All right, so we're gonna be testing the hypercardioid mic first. This is the mic that I use for all my YouTube vocals, and this is the clean audio feed. So there's actually thunder going on outside. I was playing games in the back, but let's go with the first phrase. So this is like if I was playing an FPS, I have a Corsair K95 keyboard in front of me. I don't know what the keys are. I think it's like cherry reds or something like that, but they're definitely not the quiet ones. So this is the audio with that. This is me practicing my Valorant strafing skills because I've decided to become a pro player instead of a pro YouTuber. All right, so now we have the uh, fight stick here. This is the fight stick pro. If you remember Street Fighter Cross Tekken, very successful game there. Uh, a foreboding of things to come with fighting games, but uh, gonna test doing some FAD stuff. So this is me practicing my Ryu FADC because I missed Street Fighter 4 and I'm one of those nostalgia ridden fools now. All right, now we're gonna do the same test with RTX voice on. So this is me practicing my Valorant strafing skills because I decided to become a pro player instead of a pro YouTuber. And then this is me practicing my Ryu FADC skills because I missed Street Fighter 4 and I'm one of those nostalgia ridden fools now. All right, so this next microphone is actually a pretty popular YouTuber microphone. It's the Sennheiser MKH416. It's a shotgun microphone. And this is me practicing my Valorant strafing skills because I've decided to become a pro player instead of a pro YouTuber. This is me practicing my Ryu FADC because I missed Street Fighter 4 and I'm one of those nostalgia ridden fools now. All right, this is the RTX voice test with the MKH416. This is me practicing my Valorant strafing skills because I've decided to become a pro player instead of a pro YouTuber. This is me practicing my Ryu FADC because I missed Street Fighter 4 and I'm one of those nostalgia ridden fools now. So this next mic is a Sony lavalier mic. It's a wireless lavalier mic. And this is me practicing my Valorant strafing skills because I've decided to become a pro player instead of a pro YouTuber. And now this is me practicing my Ryu FADC because I missed Street Fighter 4 and I'm one of those nostalgia ridden fools. All right, now this is the test of the lavalier mic using RTX voice. And this is me practicing my Valorant strafing skills because I've decided to become a pro player instead of a pro YouTuber. This is me practicing my Ryu FADC because I missed Street Fighter 4 and I'm one of those nostalgia ridden fools. And we even had a bonus door close in the background. And next we have a dynamic mic. This is the Electro Voice RE20. It's going into a cloud lifter into the interface. Otherwise, this is a clean audio. It's a pretty common podcasting and streaming mic. 
And this is me practicing my Valorant strafing skills because I've decided to become a pro player instead of a pro YouTuber. And this is me practicing my Ryu FADC because I miss Street Fighter 4 and I'm one of those nostalgia ridden fools now. Okay, this is the dynamic mic with RTX voice now. This is me practicing my Valorant strafing skills because I've decided to become a pro player instead of a pro YouTuber. This is me practicing my Ryu FADC skills cause I miss Street Fighter 4 and I'm one of those nostalgia ridden fools now. All right, so last but not least, we have your classic gaming headset microphone. This is a Razer Kraken Tournament Edition. And this is me practicing my Valorant strafing skills because I've decided to become a pro player instead of a pro YouTuber. Now this is me practicing my Ryu FADC because I miss Street Fighter 4 and I'm one of those nostalgia ridden fools now. Okay, this is the Razer Kraken Tournament Edition now with RTX voice on. And this is me practicing my Valorant strafing skills because I've decided to become a pro player instead of a pro YouTuber. And now this is me practicing my Ryu FADC because I missed Street Fighter 4 and I'm one of those nostalgia ridden fools now. All right, I thought I'd test a bonus mic just to show the flexibility in RTX voice. So I actually have a Logitech C922 microphone getting my audio now. I know a lot of people maybe just start with a webcam or their laptop microphone. So this is kind of hopefully to simulate that. But this is me practicing my Valorant strafing skills because I've decided to become a pro player instead of a pro YouTuber. And this is me practicing my Ryu FADC because I miss Street Fighter 4 and I'm one of those nostalgia ridden fools now. All right, this is gonna be me testing the RTX voice with the C922. This is me practicing my Valorant strafing skills because I've decided to become a pro player instead of a pro YouTuber. This is me practicing my Ryu FADC because I miss Street Fighter 4 and I'm one of those nostalgia ridden fools now. So after having some time listening to the recordings and comparing them, I feel like RTX voice does best with maybe sources that are a bit more noisy and not as sensitive. So like the C922 and the gaming headset, and maybe to some degree even this microphone, like it was pretty good at removing that noise or maybe just cleaning up the mic. Maybe just that improvement really kind of tricks into thinking it's doing a lot of work. But with microphones that are maybe more sensitive, like the hypercardioid mic and the shotgun mic, these things are gonna pick up more frequencies. That's why you generally want to record with them in fairly quiet spaces. Um, the clicks and stuff still came through pretty clearly. Well, it was removed a bit, but you know, it wasn't anything crazy or this massive huge difference, but that's just what I found when I was listening back to the recordings. So now I want to ask you, what microphone do you think performed best with RTX voice? And for your streams or recordings, like what usually causes the most background noise? And what features do you hope they add to RTX voice? Or do you hope that it works with other software rather than streaming software? Can't wait to see what you say in the comments. Give a like if this video was useful and subscribe if your air conditioning is starting to sound like a lawnmower because it's on 24 seven because you're stuck at home and it's getting hot. Anyway, catch y'all on the next one.